Hello guys, this is Deepika from mytutorialrack.com. In the previous tutorial, we have added two add-ons. One is the Heroku Postgres database and the another one is the Heroku Connect. The Heroku Connect is the connection that is will be is the add-on that will help to make the connection between the Heroku database with the Salesforce objects. So now we're going to go ahead and set up this Heroku Connect. So click on that and it will take you to the setup connection page here. So this is, the connection has not been established and as you can say between the database and the Salesforce. So we're going to go ahead and set up the connection here. So the schema name, if you do not provide it, uses by default the Salesforce. Already it is configured with this database here. So hit the next button. And then it asks you, to authorize so we're going to go ahead and authorize this particular application to your Salesforce data so we go ahead and click on the authorize button it asks you to log into your Salesforce so we're going to go ahead and logged into our website to our Salesforce account and now you're telling to give the complete access so now we have established that connection here where we have said that okay Salesforce or the where we have said that the Kana phone app is ready to access the data from the Salesforce. So now we're going to go ahead and do the mapping. So first thing is we're going to map from our database to the Salesforce. So we're going to go ahead and say create mapping here. So here we are going to go ahead and select the object that you want to map to. So I'm going to go ahead and map it to my contact object. So I'm going to go ahead and map it to the contact object. So look for contact object in this list. So this is my contact object. So I've selected the contact object here. Now these are the fields of the contact object. Now this is important. So it is telling you that okay, Salesforce to database. What do you, what kind of connection do you want between the Salesforce to database? So let's say I want only to listen for the updates. So if Salesforce has to listen for the updates from the database. So we're going to go ahead and click on this one. From database to Salesforce means from Heroku application, I should be able to write stuff into the Salesforce. Means if I wanted to create a new record or new contact record, or if I want to update something on the uh, contact record, I should be able to do that from database to Salesforce. So I'm going to go ahead and click on this one. So these two are set up. Now we're going to go ahead and map the fields here. So these are the fields which are available on the uh, contact record. So which fields you want to map? Let's say I want to map email. So let's map email. Then map the first name. So I'm going to map the first name. Home phone number. Last name. These are in alphabetical order. So last name. Mobile phone. and the phone number. So now we have go ahead and the, done the mapping. So let's go ahead and save it. So now you can see it is doing all the mapping right now. Object is contact object. It is still doing it. So it got 20. It's able to get those. Okay, so now we have established the mapping between the contact object in the Salesforce with our Dekana phone application. This time, if I go ahead and refresh my application, earlier, remember we did, we tried to update the phone number. It didn't got updated. Nothing happened. Now, since we have set up the Heroku Connect, which is which have kind of opened the connection between the Salesforce and the Postgres database, this time we will be able to update the phone number. So right now, if you go ahead and log into Salesforce, and if you go to the Tim bar, you see the TIM phone number is this, 312-596-1000. So now if I go ahead and give the same information, TIM bar, email, this is his email, and phone number I want to change is, okay. So now I am going to change the phone number. So now when you click on the update phone number, this time it says record update. It means it actually made the connection and it was able to update the phone number. If you see here, the phone number field has been updated. Even the mobile field has been updated. So both of these 
fields has been updated. So through this, you will be also able to add new contacts. So let's say if I go to contacts, if I go to the list of, let's say D, and there is, there's only two people with the name D. So let's go ahead and add another person through my application. So I'm gonna go ahead and uh, create a new record here. So I'll say Devika Denzel, okay? And email is yahoo.com. So this particular record I'm creating. There's no record with called Devika Denzel. There's no record in the Salesforce contact here. Now I'm going to go ahead and provide some number and update the phone number. So this time it is going to create a new record here. So if I go back and refresh this, you can see that this particular contact has been added. Through who? Through which application? This particular application. And this application is deployed on Heroku. So how we were able to use this application to connect with the Salesforce? Using the Heroku Connect database. So through Heroku Connect, we will be easily able to map to map to the contact record, map the fields, and now it automatically did everything for you. So with the Heroku Connect, you should be able to connect your Salesforce data with your Heroku database or with your application data.